before we begin I thought we might like to have a little recap of last episode. So here it is, and we're going to have it in German for our German viewers. Enjoy! Ich habe einen Hund. Er ist braun und groß. Er mag Fleisch und wir gehen jeden Tag spazieren. Jeden Freitag essen wir Eiscreme am Strand. Ich liebe meinen Hund. Sein Name ist Rot. What's telling dudes? It's Robert here and welcome to the second episode of SMB on the SMB server. I just want to say a quick thank you to Max Ampere for a wonderful German introduction. Uh, he just read a script that I gave him and it was a wonderful recap and if you're interested in seeing him do more German voiceovers just leave a comment down below otherwise we'll just have a normal varied intro uh, every episode. Um, yeah, so I'm currently at a skeleton farm and I'm just picking up a few things like some bones because today we're going to be expanding the farm a little bit more and we're going to be building an enchantment hut because I really need enchantments now. Uh, I've got lapis at my base but I don't have an enchantment table. They have a crafting table here. Oh man, how, like how rich must Spawn Town be to have one crafting table in their skelly farm? That's crazy. How many enchantment? How many? They have two crafting tables in here. That's insane. <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, in this chest, I found a pumpkin. I'm gonna need some more pumpkins because we're gonna use pumpkins for our lighting for our farm. Otherwise, we're just gonna have torches everywhere. Before, well, while well, I'm going up this ladder, and before we do anything, I just want to say a quick and absolute sincere thank you to everyone for that wonderful introduction uh, back to uh, YouTubing. It's, um, it's new. Well, not new. It's unfamiliar, I guess. I'm not used to it. So, um, we're going to, we're just currently going through a uh, warming up process of making sure that the commentary is alright and the quality of the uploads are good so I really do appreciate any comments you have about any of these videos because I'm a little rusty and I'm trying to get back into it because it's taking a little bit longer to make each of these different videos now um, when I was doing it more regularly it would take maybe like two days these are taking a few days at a time and yeah so uh, any comments you have just let me know and also um, I, I am doing the Let's Talk series, so there's a link in the description if you want to submit any questions. Um, I've figured out now that I'm just going to leave it open. I'm going to answer any questions which appear in uh, the spreadsheet uh, once you fill in the form. And I'll uh, answer any in the uh, Let's Talk series. Uh, well, when I say any, I mean like any appropriate ones. But uh, sorry, I'm in this farm because I also saw some carrots. I'm going to grab one of those and a potato. And do I want the cactus? I don't really want the cactus. I want the saddle. We really need a horse or never portal to um, walk between our base and this spawn place because I it's so annoying running across here. Uh, one other thing I saw over here was beetroot. Yeah, I'm gonna grab one of these. I have no idea what they are and what they're used for. So this might be a good time for the crafting recipes. Uh, that's all I really came here for. I came here for some crops and for some bones. And also to pick up some stuff from my uh, little room over there. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to transition back to our place and we're going to begin our episode. But before we do that, just a little quick like 15, 20 second, I don't know how long it's going to be, montage of me mining. And I found something while I was mining, so uh, have a look. Hey guys, so this is my camera account, um, I don't know, oh, I'll, hold on, I'll switch, I'll show you my camera account, uh, this is gonna be my new perspective on things, uh, F1 I think, yeah, uh, this is Keith, hello, <laughs> um, yeah, so I can record with this guy as well, so there's currently two guys on the server, I've died a third time by the way, 
Uh, there was a random zombie while I was AFK trying to bring my camera account over to the base over here. Um, but I've got all of these different uh, wheats and whatnot growing now. Uh, I've expanded the farm a little bit and uh, I've got the pumpkins uh, planted. I forgot to mention I got sugarcane as well from the spawn town uh, over there. And then I've got uh, carrots over there, I've got potatoes and I've got beetroot. I still have no idea what beetroot's for so let me know what beetroot's for in the comments otherwise I'll just search it up later. Uh, let's go back into <laughs> cinematic mode. Cool beans. Uh, I'm just getting some uh, some steak because I've been breeding a lot of these guys uh, with the wheat that uh, the, what the farm has uh, been providing me. And uh, at that skelly farm which I was using at Spawn Town, um, I got flame onto my bow as well. So I'm just getting a bit of steak because I'm running out of fish. Keith is just going to eat fish. I can't really be bothered feeding him uh, proper foods. I guess Keith isn't really moving that much anyway. Uh, I've got 24 steak. See, that's a good amount. <laughs> that should be enough for now. I've got fish, bread, oh, I'll show you. Fish, uh, fish, bread, and steak. Oh, you can't really see it. Oh, whatever. <laughs> um, let's do a quick cut up to the crafting table because we've got some crafting to do with those diamonds I found. I figure this part will probably be better if I record this as Tor Race, so I'm just going to leave Keith to go watch over the countryside for me. It's actually, this is looking so much cooler now as I see um, the farm slowly grow, um, but we'll do a little time lapse of cutting the trees in a second. First of all I've got to craft an enchanting table, I've got all of this stuff here, and boop. there we go, and then we'll get our diamond pickaxe. Isn't this amazing watching me uh, use a diamond pickaxe? Uh, my voice sounds very deep today. I don't know why. Like, I've actually gotten pretty good at voice... Kind of not... Uh, I'd, yeah, I'd say voice acting. I've gotten pretty good at voice acting for the past bit or so. Ah, uh, so I can go uh, pretty... What is it? What? Why is this called the ice bucket challenge? What? Okay. Ah, uh, so I can go pretty high? Or I could go pretty low. It just depends on how I change my uh, pitch and tone. Oh yeah. It doesn't... I need to practice it though because that all sounds really... <laughs> amateur to me at the moment. I'll check back in editing to see whether it goes well. Torbury in editing, did that sound alright? I'll take your word for it. Alright, so there's the book. And then... Oh no, I need a four! Ugh, I'll be back in a sec. Alright, so there's the lava, water, boop, and the obsidian. I probably should have just done this off camera, <laughs> getting the obsidian. Whatever. There we go. Cool! And then in the crafting table, we'll finally have an enchantment table. And I believe that's how you make it. Yeah, there we go. Wait, where's my advancement? No! Uh, oh, enchanted something at the table. Sure, why not? I think I already have, though. That's why, um... Oh, I've got lapis over here, too. Um, let's get some lapis. Do some brief enchantments. Let's see if I can get something on my hoe yet. Hopefully I can get efficiency on my hoe. Uh, alright. Um, I just want unbreaking really. Ooh, <laughs> I got efficiency and unbreaking. That's neat. <sighs> I guess I have to get it on a book then. Whatever. I'll get, um, I don't know, smite. Sure, let's go smite. That's a weird sound. Stop it. That, I feel very uncomfortable with that sound. Oh, I got the same with that one. And I'll just quickly enchant my gear so I don't die immediately. Uh, protection 2, I'll take a protection 2. Uh, it sucks that I died. Uh, whatever. Cool beans, I'm pretty enchanted now. Right, uh, oh, I should probably enchant my axe while I'm at it. Alright, so I'm going to do a little time lapse with Keith uh, while he's standing up on the crafting table monument over here. And he's going to show a little time lapse of me cutting down the forest, basically. Um, might expand the farm, might not. It takes a bit of time to expand the farm. Isn't that right, Keith? Yeah. Right, so I'm gonna cut down the forest and we'll see a little time lapse. I'll be back in a second.
tree hopping. I'm like Robin Hood over here. You see, I'm a Kiwi. Right, this is all of the uh, cleared space now. Um, is there a better way to see it? Uh, yeah, okay, that, it, um, that captures it a lot better. So that's all the cleared space. Uh, it's cleared a great amount, and this is a great starting point. Uh, there's some trees over there on the right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll go back to normal. Um, there's some trees in front and trees on the right. I won't cut them down just yet. Uh, let's just deal with what we have at the moment, which is all of us clear space. All of us will eventually be filled up with either farmlands or uh, huts, like the poor city huts. And what we're going to do now is we are going to build a poor city hut. I've built a brief design of an enchantment hut because I wanted to get the style down in the creative world. We'll be building that because I need to get some fortune. I need to get more diamonds. I need more diamond hoes. I'm running out of diamond hoes. Speaking of which, I've used this diamond hoe... Ooh, 1,300 times? I did an, um, an episode, the first episode of the SMB Talk. I recorded it and uploaded it. It's on the channel already. And if you want to go check it out, I've also got a link in the description if you'd like to check it out. And I was talking about where I've been for the past uh, year and a half and... Uh, how I've been feeling towards YouTube and whatnot. Uh, it's all in the SMB talk. But uh, I expanded the farm heaps more. I've changed some of the crop layout. So what I've got here is I've got potatoes on this ridge over here. And then I've got um, sugar cane down here. I've got some pumpkins. I'm going to relocate the pumpkins eventually and make all of his beetroot. And then I've got on this um, layer here I've got carrot. And then up here I've got um, wheat. But I'll probably change it uh, soon enough. It's just there for the moment. But what we're going to do now is we're going to build that enchantment hut because I do need to get some level 30 enchantments whenever I get level 30. Because I died. Uh, what a pain. Anyway, uh, let me just get some stuff ready. I'll be back in a second. Guys, I was mining for some more cobble and uh, I found a spawner. Hey, no, 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 no. Oh, whoa, whoa, calm down, calm down. Whoa, stop, please. Uh, oh, I got a, a torch on the spawner? Oh no, did someone else discover it? I don't know, it seemed kind of undiscovered when I came here. Was I? Oh no, I'm pushing left. I thought someone was pushing me. Oh, it's completely undiscovered. Oh, neat! <laughs> so yeah, she came in from the ceiling and I just saw that and I saw a creeper here. I was so scared, but I pl apparently put a torch on here. Yeah. Oh, a name tag, yes! So if you saw in the time lapse, I actually got a wolf, so we can name the wolf. Although I'll let you guys name the wolf actually. Uh, what name would you want the wolf to be? Um, considering that last time I asked for name suggestions for the city and only one person answered, so the uh, city will now be called Nan City. You have a good chance, you have like one in X amount of chance if you look in the comments to name the wolf. I'm going to keep a uh, wolf around. And that blast protection 3, eh, that's alright. I need to remember the coordinates. Uh, we'll make something with this. This is actually really close to my base. I gotta get some glass panes. There we go, that should probably be enough. I've crafted all the resources and I left it down over there. Uh, let's go quickly... Ow. Go down this mountain. I need a little shortcut or something. I need to set up some sort of minecart rail eventually. And this is the dog I'm talking about. Say hello to my blue hound. Hello. Woof. 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 Oh, God. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Stop being silent, Blue Hound. Right, um, come up with a name for my guy. Um, I do have that name tag. I left him in, in the chest up there. Anyway, I've crafted... So, by the way, um, my mate Crazy Man, he said that the idea for the crafting table will be a pain eventually. I don't know what he's talking about. I enjoyed running up and down like 3,000 times to uh, bring all of these resources down here. But I used this sugar cane and a lot of those uh, trees I cut down to make the bookshelves. I've got everything I need here. And I did build this in that creative world, as I did say, in order to get the layout done. Um, enjoy this little montage of me making the house. And I'll show you the end result.
just had to craft a few additional uh, items, which I completely forgot, but what do you think of this house? It's a little too nice. Okay, so when I was saying this was going to be a poor suburb and whatnot, uh, this is <laughs> kind of not really what I was expecting. I was, uh, honestly, in my mind's eye, I was expecting more of a rundown village and whatnot, but this is actually looking a lot nicer than I expected. This looks like something which could go in the other houses, for example, but I'll probably make the mid-tier city, make that out more out of stone and stone brick, and try and bring in some more... Uh, nicer materials. This is a little too nice, but I guess this is alright for an enchanting table. I guess we're just modifying it as we go. Um, it will suit the theme, as long as it suits the theme. I hope? In my opinion. Yes? No? Maybe. This is where the the enchanting will go and whatnot. Um, I do not have 30 levels, so I actually can't enchant, which sucks. But this is more of a temporary enchanting table. Later on, I will, uh, I could even just leave it there. Because later on, I do plan on ad adding an enchanting table to on um, top of that city over there. But this is a nice little, um, kind of a basic house. I don't, I didn't bring my sign, did I? I left it on top of the hill in storage. Speaking of which, nice segue tour, bro. You did a great job. Speaking of which, I also need to build a storage hut. So, I'll need to build another hut along here. Well, I think we'll build that storage hut and then we'll call it an episode. I think we've made a lot of progress this episode, which is great. Uh, I think we'll try and make a little farmhouse. We'll try and put it over here. Oh, yeah! Um, path blocks, 1.9, right? Is it with a shovel? Oh, hey! Cool! <laughs> I did not know about this. Okay, you can't put a torch there. Cool! I did not know about this feature at all. Huh. Alright, I'm back from getting resources. Uh, and I've started um, work on the framework of our new mass storage hut. Yeah, and also what I did. Um, just, I brought in the farmland. Trying to integrate the buildings to start uh, integrating it all into uh, one poor little village area. Uh, if I look from over here... Uh, I group the buildings to uh, try and group them close together to give it more of a sense of it's all very close and tightened it and whatnot. I'm gonna try and not have too much space around. I keep talking about that um, aspect though of this village, but um, uh, hello. Woof. Woof. <sighs> Why do you never woof? Woof. Where are you going? <laughs> why why are you not wolfing? <laughs> you normal whenever like I don't need you to wolf. <sighs> anyway, this is gonna be the new hut. Um I've got more resources. I went mining and I got some more um cobblestone and whatnot. And I've got some chests as well. Um I will do a little bit of a build of this as well, a little um time lapse montage of this, and then I think we'll call it an episode because we've done quite a lot. Uh, I, how much do I remember from building this? Because I, I, um, made three separate designs of this build in particular. Uh, that, uh, pretty much why, like, I don't, like, I don't build it, like, straight on here. Because I, like, it took three different designs to make this. I'm still getting used to, like, freaking making things again. Is that normal... Was it? Oh no, I think that's meant to be five wide. But I've I've been actually really enjoying the challenge of only having a crafting table up there. It means you need to carry things on you, and you need to plan exactly what's going to be in your inventory and whatnot. And uh, let's take this out. Hopefully we don't um, encounter any mobs. I probably should have slept. Oh well, this is all going to be gravel down here. And so this was elevated. You go up here, you go in here, and when you go down here, there is the slabs. And then if we have a furnace, we have furnaces and a little hidey hole over here. And then we have our chest. I'm remembering, guys. Oh wait, no, I didn't get enough chests uh, because it's meant to be like that. 
Oh, no, I did get enough chests. Whew. Thank goodness. It's got to be that high anyway. And then we're going to have uh, bulk storage. I mean, I'm mini storage for like food and whatnot. There's going to be stone and whatnot. Cool. I'm going to finish the rest of us off in a little montage. I'll be back in a second. Finally! <sighs> that took a while! Come on! You have to wolf more often! You make me look like a fool when you don't wolf. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> that took like half an episode to get. Alright, so it's complete! Um, this is our storage hut now. Uh, I like this design too. Let me know what you think, um, if you have any problems or you like the design of the buildings. It's almost too formal as I say. But, uh, I'm liking the building. Thank you for the wolf again. There you go, you can stay there for a moment. Right, uh, so this is the new storage hut. And as you saw, I built it and whatnot. It was, it's a very simple build. Um, but this is all we have. A very small storage hut. What I might do with other buildings that I make is I might put the food in them, for example. Um, I said this was going to look like a barn house. It's not really a barn house, it looks more like a standard building. Uh, whatever. It took a while to make this uh, in the creative world. But I got food, stone, ores, ores. Uh, I need to enchant some more gear, so I went to uh, the crafting table to go and make more of these uh, tools to enchant. Heaps of wood, uh, mob loot, pretty simple. Earth, uh, tools, and I've got uh, miscellaneous like saplings in there. I got a silk touch! Um, what was it? I was mining in a cave system for more cobblestone for this build. I found a silk touch book. And I don't know whether to put it on shears to get cobwebs, probably not, but, or to put it on a pickaxe. Most likely I'll put it on a pickaxe. But, uh, I'm gonna quickly enchant these and then we'll call it an episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I, uh, I enjoy doing this a lot. I want fortune. Um, go efficiency. Reset that. Fortune. I'll take a silk touch. Yeah. I'll take a silk touch. Uh, no. No. <laughs> Stupid game side. Uh, I'll take an unbreaking. Okay, whatever. <laughs> that one's about to break. Fortune. No. Uh, I'll take efficiency too. Whatever. I can combine those. Fortune. <laughs> Three. I might have to go somewhere else to go, um the fortune. Alright, efficiency too, whatever. Um, I'm out of levels. Hooray! I need to get that uh, spider, uh, spider farm set up. Pro I think we'll, next episode we'll set up a spider farm and we'll also begin working on our mid-tier city. Uh, we'll start building a little wall over there and start cording it off uh, the two different areas and we'll get started on that new idea. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, uh, what I'll probably do is I'll I'll, I'll actually run to spawn town in order to use that skelly farm and get some fortune want some coal because I'm completely out of coal but thank you guys so much for watching are you gonna wolf again yes I do not even plan that thank you guys so much for watching uh, until next episode oh so the next video which is gonna come out it's going to be SMB um, talk number two, and then I'm going to work on the first Skyblock episode coming back. I uh, hope you guys are excited about that. Cheers for watching guys, and I'll catch you guys next time.